What exactly is a physics line cast? Well, it is very similar to a raycast. The only real difference is that a raycast, you declare your starting position and direction and then distance that you want to go. In line cast, you declare your start and your end point. So we'll just go ahead and uh, kind of program in a test here. If we go and open up a script, I've got a physics line cast test here. I can say, uh, let's say public transform. And I'm going to do A and B. So this is my A position and my B position. And then update, we say if physics.linecast. And we'll say A.position and B.position. And then do debug.log. And say found something. So basically it's just going to check between those two points. And then if there's something there, it's just going to return this into our console. So if we go into our console or into Unity, I apologize, and say 3D object cube and delete our box collider off there because we're just really using this for a uh, representation of a location. And we'll drag a third one in and drag it up. And I'm going to add that box collider back on. All right. And now on our main camera, I'll just attach our script here. So our physics line cast and then grab cube. Oops. Two of those. Grab cube, uh, that one, and then cube one. Cube two is the one with the box collider on it. Now, if I press start, go to console, we don't see anything. But if I grab, why can't I? There we go. Couldn't grab scene for some reason. Now, if I scroll down or pull this down, you'll see it found something, remove, and you'll see it tick up as there every time it intersects so that part is cool and the other portion is we can say okay there is position a and b and then we can do a layer mask but we can also do an out rake cast hit hit info so if we say ray cast hit hit and then we say out hit we now get our hit information so we can say something like uh, we'll do hit dot Collider dot game object dot name and we'll do a plus was in the way. There we go. Now if we go back in, press play again, go into our scene view, drag that down, we'll see cube two was in the way. And we can do all the same things that we do uh with uh raycast and so we can get information like the point that it hit, uh, all the information about the game object, and so on and so forth. And that really is just about all there is to a line cast. Uh, you can add in a couple other values here, like a query tr trigger interaction. So this would be if you are hitting a trigger and you want it to return that it hit that trigger, or if you want it to ignore triggers, or just go along with the global settings of how you have everything else configured. Uh, we can flip through these. We have our layer mask that we can add, so you can have it ignore specific layers or only uh, interact with specific layers. And that is it. These are extremely helpful, and it's nice if you uh, have a very defined start and end point where you want your raycast to go, rather than just a direction and distance. If you have any questions, please throw them in the comments, and I'll do my best, I, best I can to answer them, or hop over to our Discord server, and you can ask them there, and we can have a more in-depth conversation about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.